Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Vectornator Academy tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Document Picker, which allows you to create fresh new documents to work with. To access it, tap on this plus button right here from the home screen. The first tab, aptly called New Document, will take you to the Document Picker window. You can see all our handy templates that you can open simply by tapping. Just going to select a random one. And going back, you can notice that we have a lot of template categories from which you can choose. You can either scroll down or you can go to the left sidebar where they are neatly organized into custom, which contains your custom templates or paper formats, icons, so on. Plus, we've updated all our device and social media templates to match all current requirements, so you don't have to Google them constantly. What's more, you can find any template you can imagine with the search bar. So if you are looking for some YouTube templates like a banner or thumbnail, you can find them pretty much instantly. An extra way to work with these templates is by changing their orientation by tapping on this little button here. Just be mindful that when you're in the social category, you cannot change the orientation of your templates because a Twitter header, for example, can only really be horizontal. Now, let's create a custom size document. Here we can name it. I'll just say new doc. And also determine its size. And I'm just going to input a simple square format. Moving down, you can also edit the unit measurement, and I'm just going to choose the usual pixels. You also have the option to save this as a custom template, which you can name as well. Tap on Create to start working on your brand new document, which will, of course, be 1080 by 1080 pixels as we originally set it up. Our new document will be immediately visible in the gallery, and if we go back to the document picker, the template will also be available under the custom category. And here it is. If we look at these documents in detail, you can notice that their size is expressed in the unit measurement that is most common for the particular document type. That is why some are in pixels, while others like paper sizes will be in centimeters. And these lines right here will show you the aspect ratio of the document, so its dimensions regardless of the unit of measurement. When tapping on these three dots, you can access the document settings, where you can make any changes you want, or just create a new canvas for your next design. Okay, we went into quite a bit of detail, so hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.